Hi everyone. Um, I'm here today in the house trying to stay warm. Winter has returned again to the Midwest. We were starting to get a break from the winter weather and um, all of the snow had melted and um, we were enjoying a little bit milder temperatures and then last night the wind started whipping around again and um, we woke up to snow again this morning. So I am in the house with the heat turned up and just staying in to stay warm. Um, I am so over the winter weather, it isn't even funny. Um, I've had enough. So, um, anyways, I thought today that um, I could talk about something that I haven't talked about ever on here. Um, and it was a really huge... A dilemma in my life when I was first put on oxygen um, and so I just thought that maybe it was worth um, mentioning and um, just sharing with you some of the things that I found um, when I was first sent home on oxygen the hospital gave me um, their typical cannulas that they have with um, the little green ends on them and um, I just found them to be super irritating, very uncomfortable, um, and um, at times a little painful to my ears and nose. Um, the plastic or uh, material that was used in them is just real stiff and harsh. And um, I also didn't like the way that they laid on my face. So in other words, they might be stiff one way or another way. and um, you know, would be bent up like, or just, you know, they wouldn't stay how you put them. So I found it quite irritating. Also, I did not like the green um, because I would like my hose to be the least amount visible as possible. In other words, not just on my face, but anywhere that the hose is, I wanted it to be the least amount visible. So they send you home with these hoses that are stiff and uncomfortable. And then for the longer hoses that you attach to your home concentrators, there are these bright green um, hoses. And I don't know about you, but they did not match my decor at all. So, um, and it was actually to me just downright depressing to see that green hose running through my house everywhere. I mean, every time I looked at it, I hated it. So, um, I went on the search for uh, more fashionable. <laughs> less noticeable and more comfortable cannulas and hoses um, and what I found was um, a company called Salter Labs makes um, very comfortable super soft hoses um, and cannulas that are all clear all the way through from one end to the other so you really don't notice them as much um, the long ones that you buy to use in your home from your big concentrators are also clear, so they just blend right in. They don't stand out as much, not nearly as noticeable, and don't look nearly as messy as the green ones do. So um, the different ones that I use, I actually purchase them in several different lengths for several different purposes. Um, the three lengths that I purchase most often are the four foot length and those are called Super Soft by Salter Labs. So this is a one soft four because that just means that it's four foot and it's the super soft um, cannulas. So I purchased the four foot ones and I use these often when I'm using my little backpack um, as the shortest cannula to go from one to the other. Um, I do also sometimes use it with my bag to my purse that I carry um, uh, my concentrator in, those um, perforated totes, the totes with the holes in them um, that allow the concentrator to breathe. I do sometimes use the forefoot with those as well. Um, another one that I use a lot is the seven foot. And it's also by Salter Labs with the super soft cannulas. Um, and the seven foot, sometimes I use that, like let's say that 
we were going to the zoo or the park with the grandkids or something and we were going to have a stroller with and I would probably set my concentrator in the stroller. This seven foot gives just enough little extra room um, that I can be next to or around or nearby the stroller without it pulling um, tight like the four foot one does. So it gives that just enough extra but not enough to get on the ground and get caught under the wheels and stuff. So um, it's also a nice one um, for me I use at the store when I'm working with the anime store um, with my daughter with one of the large tanks. I don't do a whole lot of moving around when I'm there. It's usually just behind the counter and so um, I can put one of these on the tanks and it allows enough room for me to move around um, behind the counter or for me to pull the tank along behind me and leave it sit, you know, with just enough room for me to maybe straighten shelves or, you know, do different stuff like that. So I buy the 7 foot Super Soft by Salter Labs as well. Um, and then the last one that I, the last length that I usually get is the 25 foot. And um, this is with the cannula directly attached to the 25 foot and I use these ones at home for my large concentrator um, and so I'll put 125 with a cannula on and then one or two other 25s um, hooked up to it that are just hoses clear hoses from end to end and um, I use the little connectors and um, that works good for getting me all around the house. But all of them are the super soft Salter Lab ones. Um, you can just Google them online um, if you'd like to find your own place to purchase them from. Um, they're Salter, S-A-L-T-E-R, Labs, L-A-B-S, Salter Labs, super soft cannulas. And um, if you type them in, I buy them in a box like each one I'll buy 25 of the 4 foot, 25 of the 7 foot, and 25 of the 25 foots. And I buy them in a box. And um, they last quite a while. Um, the last one that I buy, and I don't use it quite as often, but I like to have them, is the Salter Labs. It's a micro mini. And um, I took this one out of the wrapper so that you could just see how small this one is um, and if I were to take this one off my face and just show you this is the micro mini one and I save these ones for um, like special occasions um, I'm not sure that you can tell on here but um, they're very small very tiny and so like for the wedding, I use those, and um, we have a fashion show that we're going to um, in a few months that's upcoming, and it'll be a black tie event, and um, I'll use this, this the micro mini for that one. Um, if you're on a super high flow, I'm not sure how well it would work for you, but um, I do use it with my up to four pulse on the Inogen um, system and it does really well. So um, I like that one when I would like the cannula to be a little less noticeable. Um, like I said I use it for special events and stuff. Um, they're a little bit harder to find but if you google them Salter Labs Micro Mini um, cannulas um, they come in a different lengths just like all the rest of them. Now they are not made of the super soft material. Now you would have, um, in my opinion, they would have it made if they came out with one that was this thin with the super soft material. That's the reason why I don't wear them all the time is because they're not as soft as the ones that I normally wear. So I like how they look a lot better but as you could see they were kind of stiff and when I put them on my face they don't stay exactly how I might want them to so um, I find that if, if it's summertime out and 
it's warm they're a lot more pliable than they are right now in the colder weather um, so the warmer they are the better and sometimes I'll you know in a way um, warm them up before I put them on then I can mold them how I want them to, to sit on my face and um, it works out good but they are not as comfortable as the super soft ones so it's either a micro or super soft right now if you can't have both but um, in any case I'm sure in some of them you can find what you're looking for and what you like um, the last thing that I get from them are the connectors um, and you know they come these are swivel connectors sometimes at the hospital they'll give you these plain little connectors and um, I don't like these for any major length maybe if I'm improving um, adding one small one to another one just maybe at the store we're doing some extra work on displays and stuff and I need to add um, a small hose to another hose and I'm going to be just hanging out in the area not a lot of twisting around and stuff um, I might use these um, just uh, for a, an occasional um, the much better connectors are these and it's because they twist so when you have two hoses hooked up to them and you start moving around and the hoses twist instead of just curling up like they will with these this kind of twists and allows the hoses to turn how they need to to keep them from getting so tangled and that's a big help another thing that I do with all my hoses before I put them on is I'll have my husband go to the other end of the hose and we'll pull the hose itself not the cannula just the hose itself and stretch it as far as it'll stretch and when we do that it straightens it out um, makes it a lot less tangle prone um, it just helps a lot <laughs> with um, getting all those circles you know out of it from being packaged and everything and if you can get all the circles out of it you're cutting down on the amount of tangles that you're gonna have walking around it'll lay flatter on the ground um, if it's the shorter hose a four foot or a seven foot foot um, it'll lay a lot better instead of hanging from you in loops it'll just hang in um, you know a straight pattern which is a lot nicer so um, yeah uh, I've done a lot of battles with the hoses to get to these to find out which ones are the right ones um, for me it's not saying that everybody's so picky about them um, but I am and these are the ones out of all the ones that I've tested and tried and everything that I found to be the most comfortable um, now as far as how often I change my hoses um, I'll usually use a hose on my portable concentrator for a week so um, but of course I'm not using that all the time um, you know I may go out four of the five days for four or five of the days of seven days out of the week um, so I'm using it for a few hours or you know if I have a full day with it on I might change it out um, also depending on where I go with it um, I don't know so like when we're when we go through the airports and stuff and we're exposed to a lot of people and you know just um, where we've we've been around so many or if I go to a basketball game or you know just places where there's higher germ volume than than you might normally see um, I usually change them out after an event like that so like I said I order them a box at a time 25 at a time each size and um, I change them out on my portable concentrators at a minimum of one a week um, if I'm in a um, higher risk place with it I will change it out um, after you know being there when I get home before I go out again I'll throw that one away and start fresh um, now at home I change them out every three days um, so usually like Sunday and Wednesday or you know right around there um, I'll change them out 
Uh, sometimes I don't make it the full three days. Um, I do go through uh, a lot of the large hoses, the long ones, um, because I keep up that schedule. But I just um, think that, in my opinion, for me, it has worked out really well. Um, I think that something that's in your nose and that you're breathing through and everything, it's important to, you know, keep it clean. And um, before I actually started changing them out as often, um, before I found which ones were the better ones for me to use and where I was ordering from and all that, um, I did used to wash them every day, you know, um, rinse them off with super hot water and, you know, just... Um, go through that process, but, um, and I still do wash them off in the mornings, you know, but um, I just like knowing that every so many days um, I'm starting fresh and clean again with um, a brand new cannula. So um, I also find that after a few days, the softness, you know, starts to. Um, they're just, they just get a little bit less soft after a few days. So they're the most comfortable when you first start wearing them. And then the longer that you wear them, like after four or five days or a week, um, they start to get a little bit stiffer. Um, so I just, I like to switch them out quite frequently. Um, I'm not sure how often the insurance, I haven't really tried ordering um, you know, I used to have the cannulas sent with my tanks when I ordered for new tanks and stuff, but because I didn't like the cannulas that I was getting from there, I really didn't find out how many they allow you to order, you know, every week or every 10 days or whatever, how often you, however often you order your tanks. Um, I'm usually ordering tanks every week or every other week, um depending on how much activities we do, um, you know, and how much, like if it's summertime and we're outside by the pool a lot in the backyard and everything, um, I'll go through tanks a lot faster. Or if we're doing um, extra work around the house, like I said, if I'm doing a lot of activity, I will have the tank hooked up instead of my regular concentrator. So, um, and I'm pretty sure that I could order one uh, cannula, you know, with or a couple cannulas with each time I order tanks. But like I said, I don't really know what their limit is on how often the insurance allows you to order them. I like the cannulas that I like, and um, I like to change them however often I like. So um, I just pay for those out of my own, you know, when we order, we order. Just from a company online, they get them here almost the next day, and um, I can order as you know often as I want and change them out as often as I want. So that's just what I've found works better for me. Um, if you are ordering through your insurance company, you may have to ask them, you know, through a special request about the Salter Lab ones. And who knows, some um, some oxygen providers and that may already be giving the Salter Lab ones. I'm not sure. Um, the ones that were provided to me from my uh, oxygen provider were by Air Life Carbon F Care Fusion. Um, so I'm not sure if they would even be able to get the Salter Lab ones. I never asked. I just went online and found something that I liked that worked for me better. So, um, in this world, when you're hooked up to an oxygen concentrator um, and you have a cannula that you're wearing all the time, I have found it quite important for it to be the most comfortable one that I can possibly wear. So, this video hopefully helps you to, to find your comfort zone with your cannulas and it doesn't necessarily have to be the one that I chose. I'm just encouraging you to um, check out all your options and um, know that they're not all the same. And if you're not happy with something, um, you know, look a little further and you might find something that suits you better, that you're more comfortable with. And 
Um, it's also worth saying that sometimes the prongs don't fit in our nose exactly how we like. And I've known people that maybe cut them a little bit shorter or, you know, do other things to modify them so that they're a little bit more comfortable for them. And, um, you know, that's what it's all about is just finding a way that works the best for um, you in your particular situation. So, um, good luck and happy cannula hunting. <laughs> um, I hope this video helps and um, like I said uh, many times before, if you like this video, please hit like and um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Alright, thank you. Have a good one.